I'm Mike Arbuthnot. I work for Search. We are the largest cultural resource management firm here in Florida. We actually have the largest underwater archaeology division in the entire United States. We got the contract to oversee the cultural resources uh, management for the Chazowitzka Springs Restoration Project. Uh, we're excited to have this job. Florida Springs have been a magnet for human activity for thousands of years, from the end of the last ice age all the way up to the modern day. And as a consequence, they generally contain a lot of artifacts. This is the most comprehensive archaeological survey that the Southwest Florida Water Management District has ever conducted on a spring. And we're pretty excited about that. Um, it has two phases of work. Phase A was the initial archaeological survey. And what we did is we had four underwater archaeologists out here and we tested the entire spring basin using a four inch induction dredge. Uh, and we did every 10 meters, we took another dredge sample. It pumped the sediments up onto a floating screen platform Form, and that's where the archaeologists sifted through the materials to look for artifacts. So the spring water comes up through the pump system and it's first filtered through our archaeological screening process and then the outflow is pumped into basically these dumpsters. Within the dumpsters are giant bags and the bags allow the water to percolate through them but they hold the organics in place. So all of this water that you see flowing into the parking lot and down into what I call the lazy river area is actually cleaned fresh water from the spring on its way back in. It's all the organics and contaminants have been removed. Hi, I'm Philip Reinsmith. I'm a senior environmental scientist with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I've worked for the district for about 25 and a half years and really had the privilege to work on the Chazawiska restoration dredging project here that you see going on today. Uh, the project involves the removal of about 4,000 cubic yards of organic sediments from the Chazawiska Head Spring. The Chazawiska Head Spring complex has suffered from deposition of organic sediments for about the past 50 or 60 years since uh, development has occurred in the upper part of the watershed and also a series of canals that have contributed quite a volume of sediments uh, into the Head Springs themselves. This has been a great collaborative between the county, the district, uh, the state, as well as the engineering company and, uh, and search. We're really excited about the results of the archaeological investigation and frankly, just thrilled to see what the spring's going to look like after it's cleaned.